going off. Hi everyone, I'm Mia, and I'm a protector and caretaker in the law system. Uh, today we're going to be talking about self-care for your system after you've had a flashback, or a panic attack, or an anxiety attack. <laughs> Or generally something that leaves the system feeling vulnerable and tired and drained and scared. <laughs> um, this is something that a lot of systems really do struggle with. I know it's a big struggle for us. Uh, so I thought I might share some tips since my role is generally to comfort the system after we've had a really bad flashback or something like that. Okay, so number one, the most important thing that I could stress is take yourself out of the location that the flashback happened in. Whether this be school, work, someone's house, whatever, the most important thing that you can do for your system's safety would be to get yourself out of that location and into a new one that is more comforting and more safe. If you were in your home when the flashback took place and you don't have anywhere else to go, I would recommend going to a different room or something like that. Now I recognise this might not be an option for everyone else, so some of these may not apply to you, some of these next points, but I would still really advise you to listen to this because if anything helps then it will be a good thing because flashbacks really really suck. Second thing is put on new clothes or have a shower and then put on new clothes. Oftentimes for us, if we have had a flashback, then we will have been crying and some of our clothes might be a bit wet or generally uncomfortable. I'd say take yourself out of your clothes. If you can, get into your pajamas or a onesie or just something that generally makes you feel cuddled and safe and nice because your system deserves that. Third, Comfort items. Can't emphasize this enough. If you find it comforting to have stuffies, then get all of your stuffies. If you like, um, I don't know, clothes or something, then I don't know, do a fashion show for yourself. Like, do what feels comforting for you. And don't let anyone tell you that your methods of comforting yourself are wrong. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm really dissociated. The fourth point um, would be don't be afraid to let one of your littles take over. Littles are often seen as parts that are more of a nuisance and that can't really help the system, but that cannot be further from the truth of what they are. Littles are survivor alters, at least the trauma holding ones are, but they can almost always see the bright side of any situation. I would recommend letting your littles front um, if you've just had a really bad situation because they often have a separate energy tank to a lot of the adult alters. So oftentimes we will let one of our littles uh, put on one of their comfort TV shows, just do things that they enjoy doing because that will make the system as a whole feel relaxed. Next one, let caretakers in. Whether that's going, whether that's Whether that's letting them be co-conscious or letting them take over, then I would really recommend letting your caretakers come with you <laughs> in whatever you're doing because that is their job. And last thing, don't be ashamed of your coping mechanisms. Some of your coping mechanisms might be things that people will judge you for, but it's not their business. And you should never feel bad for having to take time for yourself after a really stressful event to take care of your system. 
if you've just had a flash out you probably won't be able to function at school or work for if not a good few hours then the rest of the day and it's okay to take that time for yourself because otherwise you're not going to be much use to anyone finish the video I think that Z did because Z was trying not to switch but um so anyway um if everyone has a good good night I I'm Annie but I don't really want to be on the channel but um okay well, bye <laughs>